everybody. Have it. Hey, what's this? There's a woman sat down in a dressing gown. <laughs> what? Is he? Have a look. <laughs> There's a woman sat on the side of the road in a pink dressing gown. Well, she's not having a very good day. <laughs> uh, yeah, sorry, that was really random. Carrying on <laughs> from the. Uh, from. Now, I've got a few videos recorded, so I'm trying to work in my head about how I'm going to release them. But following on from the uh, Marks and Spencer's manure <laughs> advert, I thought um, I was reading through uh, all the comments, and uh, some of them, by the way, were really, really heartfelt, and it sort of got me here. It did. Um, so thank you to those people who. You know, just thank, thank you, you know who you are, thank you. Um, yeah, no, I'm reading through, the, reading through the comments and see there's quite a lot of uh, sort of young lads uh, that are looking to do this as a job and uh, quite a lot of people that would like to do this. Um, so I don't know, sorry, they like to do this. Quite a lot of people who haven't done this but are interested in it. And uh, so I sort of thought, well I'm up at it at the minute, when you when you're on a farm, when you first start working on a farm for the first time, one of the, generally when you get moved up to like being allowed to start driving tractors, when you build up from picking up on the grader, um, you'll end up with a trailer on, and that's sort of like the uh, the backbone of uh, tractor driving, really. At some points of the year, you'll you, you'll just have a trailer on, you won't do anything else, so. Some people might not have a clue how we actually get the trailers on, what I plug the hydraulics into, and what they do. So I thought I'll do that. So if um, if you want, if you if you look at this video and you, and you know what to do with the trailer, then it's maybe not the video for you. But uh, if you're interested in it, uh, this is the you know it's this format that I said I'd do. So I'll uh, I'll hand you over <laughs> to myself. <laughs> then we'll uh, we'll have a look, shall we? <laughs> Tidy, as Dino says. <laughs> yeah, thanks for that, Johnny. <laughs> right, I'll, uh, I'm just going to show you how to uh, put a trailer on now. Um, as I said, if you know how to do this, then uh, then you really don't want to be watching this video. <laughs> it's a bit of a minefield with trailers because there's so many different types. Um, there's certainly not a one size fits all sort of uh, implement uh, so this is this trailer is basically it's a steel box on wheels <laughs> it's uh, it's uh, just you it's the as bare basic as a trailer will come and more than likely one that you'll come across if you uh, end up working on the farm so uh, first thing to do is I'll just get everything set right first thing to do then so this is your depth control here. Now you want your arms lifted all the way up. So you turn it as far as it'll go that way. And on a Puma, turn it round to 10. And on the screen over there, that registers it's 100%. So that's all the way up now. I've got my pickup pitch on number one. So pull that in. I want that retracted all the way in. Because if you push it the other way, it'll extend once it's released from the locking mechanism. So I want to pull that back just to make sure it's all the way retracted. And behind me now, it also doubles up as a really good toilet roll holder. <laughs> Pull this, like that, all the way. That releases the locking mechanism, there's a pin that goes through a slot. And you drop down on your arms. Not all the way, you don't need to go all the way. And you can let go of that, and it'll sort of stay there. So now, I want to push the pickup hitch all the way out. So I keep pressing until it comes all the way out. And then, you probably can't see on the camera, but I can just see the very, very tip of the pickup hitch. So now I want to reverse up to the trailer. Keep your pickup hitch up as you get going towards it so you can judge it better than drop it down. When you drop it down, it disappears, and this is where you just have to sort of get used to it. And you end up, you know, getting like judgment, really. So now that's on the hook. So I won't pull it all the way up. I'll leave it halfway up for the time being and then I want to pull 
the uh, pickup hitch in, so I pull that back. Right, so the trailer's in now. I'm going to lift this all the way up. And that handle's dropped down, so that means the trailer is now locked in place. So what I'll do is I'll just... This is something I've mentioned before, and I've, I think I've said it in this video or, uh, already. I'm, <laughs> I'm just trying to get myself in order with where I am, with where I've run the filming. But once you've lifted it all the way up, just drop it back down again a touch on your arms. Drop it back down so it's resting on the locking mechanism because um, if you're, it, you, your mind, your sort of common sense says you want it all the way up so you've less chance of the trailer coming off, but it, it can cause the, uh, art, there's some guides on the back which uh, lift the pickup hitch up and down and you can stretch stretch them and you can uh, you're sort of loading the hydraulics all the time when you're bouncing down a track when your trailer bounces down it's pulling on your hydraulic rams and then bouncing back up and it's no good so you lower it back down just a touch so it's resting on the locking mechanism then everything's nicely safe locked up there's no chance your trailer coming off you'll know if it's not locked on because when you go to lo lower it back down again um, your trailer will lower down and you think oh hang on it must not be locked in so uh, that's all locked in nice and flush there and also sometimes just to give a bit of a check you know i wiggle my pickup hitch backwards and forwards and uh, i'll have a wander around to the back <laughs> oh i'm so sorry about my tractor <laughs> So um, everything is sort of in its working clothes when you're uh, when you're carting muck. You're sort of like halfway through a big muck shift campaign. Uh, this is what everything sort of looks like. And I know my lights are covered in soil. When I take this trailer off, I'll clean my lights. It's just there's there's not really much point in me cleaning them because no one can see them from the back when I've got a trailer on. Anyway. <laughs> right then, so we're back at, uh, round at the back of the tractor. So. These are the pipes. Um, I'm going to plug this one in, and this is the one for my uh, rams for tipping up. And I know it's that because it's a thicker pipe, and generally they are a thicker pipe for tipping. And it's only you've only one pipe for your ticket tipping. They're a single acting ram. When they come back down, they come back down via gravity, so you only have to power them up. So just making sure that, that ends nice and clean. So I want my filters to last. <laughs> Right, so the, I'm going to plug it into number two. So lift that little flap up, shove it in, just make sure it's locked, give it a wiggle, and that's in. So, just personal preference, you can put that in on any of these spool blocks, it, it really doesn't matter, but my personal preference is that I put it into number two. Those two there are for my pickup pitch. So, into number two. And then the other two pipes, I can. Uh, get them hoses these are for the back door clean all that crud off <laughs> now they're a double acting ram and they're a double acting ram because you when you close the back door you want it to pressure it against the seals so the seals of the trailer so nothing flips out the back and we've put a little bit of sticky tape <clears throat> on this one and that denotes that this is the pressure here so i'm going to put that one in to number three now if probably if you knew it's maybe a good idea to move move it across and put it in maybe five or four it'll be different <coughs> on other tractors but on this puma i like to put it into number three but yeah it's maybe a good idea if you're quite new to it then you know that inside the cab they're a bit further away from each other and you're not likely to open the back door and um, instead of tipping the trailer up because that uh, <laughs> that'd be no good if you've got a load of wheat on so again lift that up shove it in do the same with this one right and that's the tra trailer piped up so this one now you get air brakes you get abs that's my abs plug there um, and you get hydraulic brakes and sort of basic bog standard trailers have these sort of hydraulic brakes with a little slip collar so you pull that slip collar back pull it back push it on and as you're pushing it on, you push the slip collar on and that's the trailer brakes put in now this one, this is just a, a 7 pin plug and you lift that little flap up, push that in 
and she's in that's it now <laughs> something uh, i'm actually taking this trailer off <laughs> so once i finish filming this i'll be taking it back off again <laughs> something that i do is when i get in the cab these sometimes you, you think they're in but they're not and what'll happen is they'll fall out on the road when you go hit a bump and you'll, they'll get a terrible case of road rash then when you get to where you're going you, all the, the, the ends, the bayoneted fittings will be worn down and you won't be able to do anything. Then you have to call your manager up and say, you know, I need some new fittings, bring them out. And you won't be very happy. <laughs> I've done it, everyone's done it, everybody's done it. So what I do, so I've got myself in the habit, when I first get back in the tractor, I'll um, just test everything. I'll lift the trailer up a little bit, make sure that comes up. I'll open my back door, close my back door again. And if any of those functions doesn't work, then I think, hang on, right, there's something not plugged in properly. So I'll come round to the back, and more often than not, one of these will just be hanging, sort of hanging loose. So that's a bit of a tip. So, <laughs> right, we'll uh, move on to the next portion uh, <laughs> of the video. All right, so hello, everybody. So, uh, I think by now we've probably had a look outside <laughs> I'm filming this bit right after the bit you've just seen so I'm guessing my future self will have shown you around the uh, back of the trailer so uh, you probably can't even see out the windows because the tractor's that dirty and I'm gonna try my very best to get it clean tonight because it's making me feel sick <laughs> right so I'm just gonna uh, back up to the heap now and uh, it's, uh, it's a little bit rough on this pad, so I'd plugged the um, the lift on the hydraulics onto my number two spool, which is down here, so there's like a block of four levers. Uh, I really hope you can see that. Let me just have a look. Yeah, so that's number two, and it goes in, uh, goes in order. So that's one, two, three, four. Number five is here on my, uh, on my multi-controller, so I'm just going to... Just gonna lift the trailer up a little bit now i wouldn't advise doing this if it's um if you're on really really rough ground because you, you're really likely to, to tip the trailer over so but by lifting the trailer up you can see underneath it you can see the chassis of the trailer and you can actually see what's behind it so instead of using your mirrors which <laughs> which mine are fairly useless at the minute um you can see where you're going so go back nice and uh, nice and steady just in case the trailer does start to sink a little bit to one side all right so i'm up to the i'm gonna stay well i don't know about a yard away from it and i don't need to get right right the way up to it because when i tip it up it'll merge into one heap anyway that's something i must point out uh, in fact no i'll do it in a bit i'll do it in a bit <laughs> right so i've got my back door the door set on number three so if i pull that one back Sorry, someone just sent me a friend request. I'll just get rid of that so I can see. So if I pull that one back, like so, uh, you maybe can't see my mirrors, but my back door has opened up. And so I carry on pressing number two, and if I pull it right back, it'll click so I can let go of it. Now I'll just give it a tickle of revs. Put myself so I can go forward. And uh, just uh, keep going till uh, Keep going up till it starts to come out and just ease my way forward as it starts to come out so I don't get everything blocked up at the back of the trailer just keep easing forward easing forward <laughs> there we are, right so it's empty so I'm just going to knock my revs down a bit now to let the trailer back down uh, I'm going to put this into dump or float, whatever, whatever you know, whatever you call it. So I'll push this one forward and then right the way and it'll click. And that means it's in float. Now please, please for goodness sake, in under no circumstances ever, <laughs> put it into dump when you've got the trailer up and there's still something in it. Because um, as far as you're concerned, the world might end. <laughs> the trailer will come crashing down probably snap the chassis of the trailer knack your tractor you'll slip 20 discs break your spine and it won't be very pleasant <laughs> so i'll never do that once the trailer's empty <laughs> so the trailer's down i push forward now 
you can see the back door coming down more the way down and you just pressure it a little bit so it's nice and snug against the seals on the back of the trailer and jobs are good and so normally when i'll be doing it i'll be doing those two things sort of at the same time i wouldn't be you know one thing and another i'd sort of be lifting the trailer up a bit and just crack the back door and you see the in these case pumas that these are really nicely placed so you can just lay your hand on them and you can work and if you wanted to you could work four spools like a piano you know <laughs> all right so uh, that's the trailer tips apologize if anybody's got this far and already knows how to do this and you're really really quite bored <laughs> i did warn you <laughs> Right, hello everyone and again so i've uh, i think by now i'll have showed you how to put a trailer on i think so i've just i've just finished my day um it's probably a bit dark it's a bit dark really to be doing this but uh but uh, i shall do it anyway so i'll uh, i'll just go through uh taking one off so I'll just trying to uh, find somewhere to pop it Right, so can you see me? <laughs> you can. <clears throat> right, so I'm going to leave it there. So, uh, what we mentioned earlier on about the dump now, you can't get the uh, hydraulic lines out of the uh, remotes on the back, what we call spools, and um, you can't get them out if they're pressurized. So, in order to pull them out you have to put everything into dump so down here I hope you can see because it's very dark oh no you can't hang on if I put my interior light on no nope, that's still not worked right there we are I've used my uh, iPhone as a torch brilliant <laughs> yeah so I want to put them into dump so this one's for the rounds to lift them up so I push it all the way forward and then keep going till it clicks now that's released all the pressure in that line now this is for the back door so I push that all the way forward till it clicks and that's now they should be uh, pressure free so I'll take my phone with me I'm gonna have to jump out now put my gloves on to the back it's a blooming awful mess in fact do I need oh, I do still need it on yeah so I'll try and do this one-handed so simply when you want to put when you're finished you literally just give them a tug and uh, out they come so I'm gonna bring that round there just fold it over there so now we'll do these with the back door so it's just a just a sharp pull now and they're out so I don't want to put these in any uh, in any rubbish so I'll just lean them over like that so they're all out of the uh, all out the way so I'll set the uh, lights out just pull that out it's easy enough then the brakes I might have to put me uh, now and we're going to do this one handed. We just try. Uh... <laughs> I'll try. It's like a little collar and some ball bearings, and you have to do it. I'll do it two handed. Just give me a minute. Give me a second. Sorry, this is very un unprofessional of me. <laughs> so that's the uh, hydraulic brakes off and it's got a little uh, little like slip collar on there some little ball bearings in it you pull them back it releases like the tension on the ball bearings and you just pull it off right so that's everything unhooked always do that first before you actually drop it off because um, you're more than likely to uh, drop the trailer off forget you've got the pipes in and drive off with the pipes still in 
which I haven't done in my younger days. <laughs> cough, cough. <laughs> I think everybody must have done that at some point. <clears throat> when you're young and eager and keen and you think, right, right, it's beyond the next job and you drop tear off and off you pop and you still got plumbing pipes plugged in. <laughs> so uh, in order to get the trailer off now, off the hitch, uh, I want to pull the pickup hitch, which is on my number one spool, pull that back so it retracts the pickup hitch all the way in because uh, you won't be able to release the locking mechanism unless that's retracted all the way back in so that's all the way back in now so on my depth wheel turn that all the way up so it lifts to uh, well, you can't see <laughs> you can't see it's pointless so that lifts up to 100% and then there's a this uh, this handle here which is a handy toilet roll holder <laughs> pull that up all the way like so and then roll your wheel down and the trailer will start to drop to the floor and then what I do sometimes they're a bit dicky about coming off so I just push my pickup hitch out lower it down into forward drive off pull my um, pickup hitch back in so it stops lift my hydraulics all the way back up and this should hear a click see that handle just drop down so that means my, my pickup hitch is now locked into place so I'll just drop my hydraulics down a little bit it's on 100% I drop them down to about 95 so everything's resting nicely on the locking mechanism and, uh, and that's it that's the trailer off so uh, <laughs> I'm gonna come in, uh, I didn't get a chance, I'm not gonna have a chance to wash my tractor tonight, so uh, I'm gonna come in early in the morning, I should hopefully, if uh, if the children don't keep me up all night, I should hopefully be in for about, my aim is to get in for about half past five, get my tractor washed in the morning, and then uh, go and see what this surprise is at Amazon. So, all right then everyone, take care, bye.